I've spoken before about bonding and how important it is. If you have a look here, see all of that braid and there, right down here to the bull bar. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's on both sides there's a braid going from the bull bar to the chassis. Now the problem was I've had this developing for a couple of weeks, couldn't work out what it was. It sounded just like um, that connection there was not connected which reminds me I've got to put a cable tie in there like making and breaking connection all the time or a bad earth now have a look at the amount of bonding in there it wasn't a bad earth it was sort of on transmitter was perfect but on receive was <coughs> when people were talking to me and I even replaced the KOX from there all the way inside right along the chassis rail big job up into the cab Nah. Extra bonding? Nah. Nothing. I thought it might have been internal in the antenna. Anyway, but it had come and go. And I couldn't work out why it would come and go. And I was scratching my head and scratching my head. And eventually I worked out it was probably when it rained it wasn't happening. So that told me again it was Earth. And anyway, this afternoon, this pin does nothing. All it does is if you get bogged, you pull you out with it. That was this in there rattling. That's all it was. That's hardened steel, high tensile through an aluminium bull bar into a steel chassis cross member there and just bouncing up and down like that was creating a problem it was just generating um, static I guess and it was at such a frequency that it was making the receiver momentarily um, override the signal from the station I was trying to listen to with that that's all it was I think